I'm shopping. I've been on a spree, bro. It ain't healthy. What's up, YouTube? A week after the competition, I'm alive. I actually feel kind of good. First week of bodybuilding, I skipped two days, but we're making up for it. So we're going to get a little leg day today. And like everything else, you know, lack of a better term, we're power building. So I got a strength move, a couple of hypertrophy moves. Body weight was 212 last night. I forgot to weigh this morning. So we're probably down minimum eight pounds because we were 220 when we started, but minimum eight pounds. So we'll give you an update on that. Food update coming too. Me and Sebastian might get some food next week. We'll do a full day of eating. Stay tuned, man. The shreds are coming. You're going to blink your eye and I'm going to be fucking silent Mike O'Hearn. Check it out, 3SB.co. We got the new collab with Game Day Barbell, six fire tees. Check them, get them while they're hot. And we also got a secret release, just three dope one-off tees on our part. I think y'all really like them. And we're diving in deeper. So I want to help y'all. I want to get to know y'all. So ask me anything in the comments. We're going to be continuing through the cut series. And I'm going to answer all your questions along the way. So whether it's fitness, business, personal, any advice you got, man, comment below and we'll tackle those in the upcoming vlog. We got a couple like light strength goals within this, so I think I'm gonna try to get the 500, maybe my best ever is 500 pause high bar. Um, so we'll try to work up to something like that, paused or regular and bang it out for some reps. I've probably done it for two or three high bar. Um, low bar, I've done it for six or 515 for six. So I think we slowly get to that at a lower body weight. I'm already below like my comp comp competing weight. I was about 210, 212 when I was my strongest, and right now I'm like 208. So. That'll feel good. Same with the bench. We got the 315 incline for three to five. Um, deadlift, whatever, because we just kind of chase that. So I'll just try to keep 500 for reps and shit. That's it, man. I'm gonna go for a walk, I'm gonna go eat, and we'll catch you tomorrow, second Saturday, 3SB.co. It's gonna be bumping. I got a little back and biceps. I'm gonna go catch some sleep, get some sleep, catch you in the morning. Second Saturday, it's getting a little live. 10 a.m., every second Saturday of the month, we go uh, 8 a.m. to noon, free open house. Number one goal is just kind of build the community. I know some people maybe can't afford like a higher end gym. Uh, maybe they live further away and they have to train in different circumstances, so, you know, trying to live up to what we, preach and actually do it. I want people to get to know each other. I want people to learn about lifting, be in a better environment, push themselves a little bit. So once a month, um, we get new faces all the time. So it's really cool. I typically don't lift, but now we're on some bodybuilding shit. So I did uh, incline 225 for two sets of 10. And then now we're just doing a little back and by, just a little pump because this week was a little weird with the meet, but people are having a good time lifting big lifts. The whole crew's here kicking it. So welcome, second Saturday.
I go like a nine or ten? Yeah. We start right on the patella, and then we're just gonna go half wrap up all the way. And then we're gonna work our way back down. You wanna take the tension out the whole time so you don't rip the knees as bad and then wrap around. So we'll just cut this in half each time. We'll work our way to the bottom of the quad. So we'll work our way back down. Probably double layered up here. And then you cut to the seam in half on the way back down. Would you say sucker? You, you got a foam pad for your knees. You get oh, yeah. What's it like to be like hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That you can't go to the grocery store and not get something for the car. Uh, you gotta have something. Like a drink, like a water. I get a, yeah, I typically do a drink and like a beef jerky. But I didn't think about it in there, a protein bar. Blue the bottle. protein bars are kind of... Kind yeah, of I did, yeah, it depends. Oh, you're recording. You're recording. How's your stump town? It's not bad, it smells good. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. Lights your ass on fire. It's like almost creamy. Yeah, that's the nitro. Yeah, yeah. You have gum in? Yeah. That's fine. It's dead. It is. I think this one's better. That yeah. one's pretty good too. It feels like a, yeah. The nitro does make it. I just put my straight coffee in here. Yeah. You want to try it? <laughs> it's just black. It is good though. Try it, dude. I like this one better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like coffee. You drink black coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Be. Yeah. Maybe your pal, little girl. I didn't even drink coffee, coffee till I was like 22. I don't like coffee. Like I didn't drink any coffee till oh, I was your age. Really? I drink black coffee in high school. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't drink coffee or energy drinks until I was like, oh. I did a little pre-workout maybe. Energy drinks weren't a thing. Red Bull like came out when I was in high school. I you know what I mean? Hey, bro, you just dated yourself. Yeah, you know <laughs> what I mean though? Yeah. My, my dad <laughs> drink these like uh, Thai energy drinks that tasted like Red Bull and they're in glass bottles. Oh, that's not kind of Was it called balls? No. Have you had that? There's an energy drink called Balls. But, okay. <laughs> he would share it with us and we drink it and it tasted really good. And then it wasn't until I had a Red Bull when I grew up and like, when I realized it was energy drink. Yeah, I, I, mm. I never had that shit, ever. And then coffee I started to do when I, uh, first time I ever did keto. Oh. And you throw some cream in there or, or you butter. Did keto? I did keto for a long time. Oh, yeah, I did keto for a long time. Um, they, Cause you didn't, there's no like info out there on diets. You know? Yeah, yeah. Probably like 09 to 13. I, I I blunted all my gains. Imagine how strong I'd be if I knew what I was doing. Yeah. I charged the trail for you guys. I was a little like uh, what do they call it? Like a test dummy. Well, trail I never blazer. Done you wouldn't have known. You would have. I'm telling you. If you were in 09. Well, yeah, but like we're just that's just the difference in age, you know? Yeah. But you would have, you would have though, because there was nothing no, else. No, I wouldn't. You would have. I can't give up carbs, <laughs> even if I wanted but to. You, no, you wouldn't have known. I would have been like, fuck no, I'm eating. You food. wouldn't have known. I love If you thought eating no carbs get you a 500 pound pull, and you'd be like, oh, all right, yeah. Is that what they said? No, but like it was like, people thought it was a performance thing. Like this is how you best stay in weight classes, and this is how you do all that. I'm like, all right, I'll do I that. I barely do that now. I know, me too. <laughs> I just realized during this meat cut, like our meat prep that I need to watch what I eat now. Yeah, off season's <laughs> like, gonna be long. Yeah, like off season, I, that's what, um, you know, Atwoods and yeah. Gus and like Fortino, they yeah. all have like dietitians and they watch what they eat and they plan when they have their meals. And I'm like, but lucky, that's crazy. Lucky for you is you tracked zero and you didn't get, it's not like you turned up to 160 pounds. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what was happening to me. And so to stay in the 198 class, I ate keto, but then I was weak for it. I benched 315 for like five years. You know what I mean? I was just stuck. And I was in my early 20s, I was y'all's age. So just like, 
all my years that I could have been smashing weights, like you and Steve Bass are both crushing PRs right now, I was just like bashing my head against a brick wall doing nothing. Kind of. Yeah, kind of. A little bit of programming stuff for sure, because that wasn't known either, and keto. Yeah, it was just fucked. And then now, I just live off black coffee so it could be shreds life. What's up, Mikey? All right, quick uh, food run. Just some diet ideas for y'all. Your grocery store might not have the exact same, but it's similar. Um, so to get some veggies in, sometimes I get tired of just like steamed shit. I do do a lot of frozen so it doesn't expire because I travel and so it just allows me to um, not waste money and waste food. But to get other veggies in, like a broccoli slaw, and then I'll just make it with like my own like craziness. So I'll just throw this like diet uh, salad dressing on there, mix it all up, slam it back. This is like five carbs with nothing. And this is literally nothing. Six carbs for the whole thing. It's 18 carbs. No fat, no protein. Damn. Or not no protein, but a little bit of protein. Mike is trying to get shredded. Yeah, we're on the shreds, man. Uh, same idea here, just a slaw. So maybe I'll go half and half, a little bit of sauce. I don't do a lot of potatoes, um, but I thought I'm um, getting a little sick of rice. And so I might even do that right now and uh, clean these up and we'll throw them in the air fryer. Maybe just slice them in half. Um, a little oil or spray to make them crispy, salt, and that's all you need. Volume wise, potatoes tend to win over rice. And for me personally, we talked about trigger foods in our last cutting videos back in like the summer. Um, choosing foods that don't trigger you to want to eat like crazy. And for some reason, rice, I can eat all day long. Potatoes fill me up a little different. Um, and so that's on the individual. Now I heard there's some slander on the A1 sauce. Do you like A1 sauce? Me? Yeah. Uh, it's okay. I don't know why there's a one sauce slander going on. Okay. It's I like, can it with you can eat it with anything. Mm -hmm. It's literally like vinegar. It reminds me of my childhood eating shitty steaks. Oh, okay. So I ain't putting this on the steakhouse ribeye. I ain't putting this on the Wagyu, but if I'm getting some shit steak or even chicken and I'm bored, I'm gonna throw this on there because it's literally two carb and nothing else. What are you looking at? Nothing, you didn't send, you didn't send Bart the- I did, it didn't like this. go through. Oh, I, I was gonna send it once you yeah, so this uh, is individual to our store, obviously, but it's like a pesto, so there's probably a little bit of fat in there. I might even cook this right now, but it's just a chicken breast. Just to change things up, if I'm going chicken breast, I'll add a little bit more sauce or something, right? Because the chicken breast is a little bit leaner. If I'm going chicken thigh, I tend to eat it plain or just salt because that's a little bit fattier. And so that's like the whole idea of what truly flexible dieting means. It doesn't mean I'm eating Pop-Tarts all day and just doing Pop-Tarts and protein shakes away. It means that I'm wiggling around so I don't just have to eat tilapia and broccoli because then I can hit my macros and cal calories uh, allow myself to be uh, more consistent with the diet so I can eat this way year round. You can't do tilapia and broccoli for the next 50 years. You're gonna be grossed out and, and under, uh, 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 nutrition wise, it's not even good either. We need a variety of fruits, a variety of vegetables and a variety of meats uh, to hit all our micronutrients. This is like a, the go-to, just lean beef. 96%, 97% is the goal. 3.5 fat per like every 30, 26 protein. So I get a ton of those. I got a venison on the side, it's a little more expensive, but the macros are the same and it's frozen. Again, when I, I know you can freeze any meats, but I just tend to buy frozen stuff because I travel. Like last weekend we were running the meat, so I was eating out or doing random shit. This week I'm heading to LA and Vegas. For the two weeks we're heading to the Arnold. So I, I, I try to keep a bunch of stuff in the freezer. Um, like last night I was starving, I had no food, so I had to make a shake, I hate shakes. I'd rather be able to whip one of these out and, and clear it. But this is what we're trying to show Bark Kwong, because he's on the shreds like with us. Mm -hmm. I guess this tuna, I'm not a huge um, fish person, but the macros are so insane. This whole bag, 70 protein, no fat, no carb. Um, I could probably air fry it even frozen, right? Yeah. Because it's probably thin. So I'll probably just air fry these or even on a pan and just sear it and then maybe soy sauce um, or just salt, something real easy. Throw it with some potatoes, throw it with some rice. Bada boom, bada boom. You want to show you? What you got? Abby's, um, Abby's probably on a slightly more strict cut, yeah. but hers is a more acute. How's he like that? Or, acute? Mean? Yeah. Acute means like a shorter duration. Because oh, yeah. she's literally just getting in her weight class for the Arnold. She's not really cared about composition and shit because she's already yeah. jacked. So three weeks I have to cut, and this is day three of being on 1,100 calories. So it's How stupid low. Um, I feel okay right now. I feel like really hungry because I, I mean it's like noon. Yeah, none of us have eaten. Um, but it, it's been a deload week, and um, we'll see how the first week of the next block like feels. I'm hoping to like I've already dropped 
three pounds ish. But that's one, pretty good. Day. Yeah, from 130 and then 129, and then literally the last few days, one pound each day. Damn. Which is, I don't know what the fuck is happening. <laughs> um, but this was, uh, let's see, just a car fire medley um, inspired by Mike. And then a slaw. You can do this, like, eat this raw, or like, I like stir frying it with some protein, and then it makes it taste better. Um, minced garlic, because I'm lazy. More like just stir fried veggies. Just so easy in the pan. Yeah. Um, and I have like ground chicken and ground pork. I'm gonna cook that with uh, salsa because throw a little bit of this in, on anything and it'll taste better. I'm still like five calories. Um, let's see, oh yeah, this sugar-free sweet, what is it, sweet and spicy sauce. Again, I don't know, it's just like ground meat that's lean and then throw some sauce on it. Hot sauce is a big hit when you're dieting because mm -hmm. hot sauces, mustard if you like it, yeah. There's a couple things in there with like basically no calories. I have like no sugar ketchup yeah. and I'll mix that with mustard and then mix, I don't know, that's all you really need, right? Yeah, you can get a little, a little creative with it. Yeah, um, lettuce, I'm gonna eat like my chicken patties at home with like protein style and then just throw some sauces, some cake, tomatoes on there, um, green onions, the and then just like a croutramal, I guess. And then I got the same ground beef. That's my 96% lean, or just like that. And then last thing in here is just this. I wanted to try this lemon pepper chicken breast because I feel like this would be easy to cook up too. A little pepper. Yeah, lemon pepper. So, oh yeah, and then this milk. I'm gonna do protein shakes and no one's See, that's popular. Oh, you're popular. That's not me. Protein shakes <laughs> um, and like overnight oats or oats with this just because it has like some protein in there and my almond milk doesn't really. What else you put in your overnight oats? What's the um, decorations? Um, I used to do chia seeds and then honey and then a little bit of, I don't want it to turn it into a protein shake with oats in it, so I just do a little bit of the protein powder. Um, and that's pretty much it, I don't do too much. Oh, and some cinnamon. Cinnamon makes everything taste better. Um, that's it. Are you guys hungry? I can cook these too. The habits you need to build are do your dishes right after you cook. Otherwise, you're not gonna do them and it's gonna get fucking gross. And I fucking hate that because I gotta use it tomorrow to cook. So I do that every day. I'm gonna clean up, we're gonna head home. Or I mean, we are home, I'm gonna head to bed. Uh, Michael grab a massage and then it's uh, it for the weekend. A little breather tomorrow, I'll probably go for a walk and do some cardio but no real lifting. I'll catch you on Monday, man. Uh, 3SB.co, we've got a bunch of new clothes. Appreciate you. Sell Mike, right here. The, the, the secret. The real, the real secret with the dishes, you just don't even wash them. <laughs> right? You gotta eat dinner tomorrow. You if you're lunch tomorrow. if you're balling, you take ceramic plates, one use, throw them in the trash. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't wear the same socks twice. So we're uh, we are. I'm not balling, and I still do not. But I am not balling. That's how you manifest. You smash it on the floor. That's how you manifest. You act like it's there. <laughs>